Okay, so because we have lambs coming in about two weeks, almost exactly two weeks. When's the 25th? Today's the eighth. Right? Today's the eighth. Anyway, between now and the 25th, we have to get this barn cleaned. Um, we had a set of twins born today. And I know I have another ewe that's going to be lambing very soon. So they are ahead of the schedule of the other ones. And there is the potential that those other ones could lamb a little bit early. Uh, anywhere from like the 20th, I think it's the 23rd to the 28th, according to all my book work. So we're getting the barn cleaned so that we can bring those ewes in this weekend so that they are here rather than out on pasture, which is where these other lambs were born today. So that's our plan today is to get everything up to where that group of moms and babies are and then eventually we're gonna have to move them out so we can get that half clean too but yeah so today is barn cleanup So just to give you an idea of how deep it is in here, because it doesn't really look that bad until you look here. So that's where that bucket was sitting. And it's, oh, at least four inches deep. And that goes the whole way. And it's probably even deeper over on this side where all the hay has been. So the more we can get cleaned out, the better off it'll be for the sheep and it will hopefully keep them from any issues. So we went and pulled this set of bunks and then the other fencing that was here. And then that way he can get in here and get this cleaned out. and then go from there. And we're gonna have to do this in stages because um, back there where <laughs> all the sheep are, we can't take that gate down or all the lambs will get out. So we're gonna do this half first and then we'll do the other half.
really wish we had like a skid steer or um, telehandler or something a little smaller besides that loader. Um, it barely fits in this barn, so it's not something I'm comfortable with doing, but I, uh, if I had something smaller, then I could come in here and do this like once a month and get it kind of, I mean, maybe not completely a huge clean out like we're doing now, but at least I can do here where we feed so that this here doesn't get quite so thick. Um, and then we can keep that area clean. We can be able to put some hay in there. Um, and then with my lambing pens or jugs over here, which you can't see, yeah, maybe you can see, but then I could get that, you know, tear those down, a little, little uh, skid steer go in there, clean that out between each lambing group. It would just make it so much simpler but this is what we have so like i said i'm not comfortable bringing it in here because there is i mean an inch maybe of space between the top of that loader and these rafters so i don't feel comfortable bringing it in here so i always have to wait on him if i had something smaller i could do it myself so it's on my list just may not happen this year the barn I always think oh it's gonna be perfect because it kind of starts to look like this and then he puts the bucket down and he drags backwards and he drags forwards and we get stuff like this or we get big old holes and then I start to cringe because my flat surface for a barn is no longer a flat surface but he always seems to make it work in the end I don't know how, I'm not a loader operator. I don't, I just don't have the finesse that he does. Um, but yeah, he, it's never 100% smooth because it is dirt. And we have talked about putting cement in, but where this barn is open, um, I always just get really nervous about doing it because I'm afraid that the concrete would get too cold even with straw on it. And with these lambs, I don't know, I need, I need to probably do some more research into it because cleanup would make, it would make cleanup so much easier. It's just not something I have decided, yep, we're gonna do. Uh, maybe, but I would need to do some more research. And it's about 31 degrees outside with the wind feels about 20 something. Um, so it is a little warmer in here because we don't have the wind, but it's still, it's still chilly.
good morning. It is Sunday and we're going to try and finish getting the barn cleaned out, but we're having difficulties getting the loader started and he just told me he has to pull the starter to get it to like spin to the right spot to get it started. So not the best start, even though the rest of the morning had been going really good. Hi, Mama. Hi, little baby. Hi, sweet girl. I know, huh? Are you kidding me? Hey Bruno, you do not belong in there. <laughs> yeah, I really did not want to ram in with any of these ewes that just lambed, well, lambed three months ago. And I thought he was out back. Well, fabulous. Okay. Well, that changes plans again. I can't win this year. Not looking good. That didn't work. So, um, we're gonna get, whoops, that thing. He put, he got a new starter for it. Uh, so we're gonna put that on. Still not going anywhere. It has no tires. So we need one tire, two tires. Short on tires. That tire is actually good. Yeah, probably and tell you drive it. That one, not so much. But at least we can put the starter on and pretend we're going to get something done today. But none of the switches are correct. None of the switches being. The turn me on switches. Oh, they're not in well, the right spots. They're not. So let's try. Oh, that's a bad one. This thing is. My wires doing Yeah, somebody's like just made a big old mess of all this. Hmm. I'm sure that goes somewhere. I'm sure it did. <laughs> Actually. Well, today hasn't really gone as planned. We did not get these guys moved. We did not get the barn clean. We didn't get this lamb tagged. We didn't get my ewes separated out or the ram separated out, but about the only thing we accomplished today and that's only because I was able to catch him while they were eating is to pull Bruno out of these ewes and then thankfully Woody followed so he uh, he was loose today too imagine that but they're both in a pen and I'm really hoping that in the last week or however long he's been in here that he did not get anything bred because 
<sighs> that wasn't the plan. These guys were gonna get bred in June. Tomorrow he's gonna take the starter for the loader to town, get that fixed. Uh, we should have it back hopefully by Tuesday. And again, I'm working all week, so I'm not really sure when I'll be around to help him. But we really need to get these girls out. Um, pretty much in the pen that we just put Bruno and Woody in. That way we can get this all cleaned out. And then I think the only two I'm going to keep in here are going to be the new mom and her lamb. And then the one that was born, what was it, like two weeks ago? We'll leave both of those in. And then the rest of these guys can go somewhere else. So... We'll see how that all works. Today just wasn't a, today was not a productive day. So we got these two out here and I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, hopefully tomorrow will be a more productive day, but until we get the loader fixed, we can't do any more in here. Uh, so, it looks like I won't get my ewes that are due the 25th in the barn until probably next weekend. So hopefully nobody comes early and we just keep our fingers crossed at this point. Some days just don't work out the way you want to want them to. So we'll try again tomorrow. Is that got seven more minutes till it's done? Yes. Well, that's freaking awesome. Also, we need to just move up a size. Size of mouse? Yeah, it's they not. They didn't have any. If they don't have any, we'll go to Richard and we'll whack them on the head with a hammer. It's not that hard. This Come is on, what I gosh, live with, people. Huge. No. No. Come no. on, cuddle with it. I'm not even getting near it. You can't even say that face is cute. I there was. Ooh, so but I, there was an albino. And it had red eyes. And it was, Ooh. no. It was 1200 bucks. Yeah, no. They I had a chameleon, said, though. They had a what? A chameleon. That dad might get, just because he's bored. Okay, Tegan. He's Finn's on. Okay, go put him back, because you're, like, freaking me out. He's a she. I don't care. She is a sweetheart, and she just pinched herself. <sighs> Did you see that? She opened her mouth, because she was like, ah. Okay, go put her away. She's smelling. She'll be out in a while. No, she has been. Okay, then you can go cuddle with her in your room. She's a good one. I'm a tree. That's all she cares about. Yep. You're a weenie. I don't like snakes. You're a super weenie. Yes, I am. <laughs>